the signs of life They're all around me with every heartbeat I feel so alive Great farmer, great nation. Hope you are doing good. Right now, I want you to say, I am the best. Yes, you are the best. But you need to show the entire world the best in you. Thinking day and night about how to join the League of Billionaire. But listen carefully, there is sound of victory in the air. They said, the level of information you have determine your degree of freedom from limitation. This video is all about an invaluable information that worth thousands of naira, thousands of dollars. But I have decided to give it to you free of charge to serve as part of my own contribution towards eradication of unemployment and poverty. This video is made to change beggar into a lender and to change area boys boys into a wealthy man. wealthy man believe me this information is free i have no reason to deceive you but i would like to introduce myself to you my name is mr nafi kudus allah reward you popularly known as dr only West, from greenwood agricultural technology and vocational research institute popularly known as guatafi and one of the professional animal scientists in the world. Before I will start addressing the subject matter of this great video, which is how 150 pieces of snail produce 15 million naira in two years. Let me quickly ask you an important question concerning this subject matter. My question goes thus, is there any bank in the whole world that can offer an interest rate worth of 15 million naira on a fixed account of 500,000 naira for two years. If you are not sure, the second question which goes thus You personally, as individual, do you have any business plan that can yield a profit up to 15 million naira within two years with a capital of 500,000 naira? If you are not sure with this, then you need to pay maximum attention to this great video. Now, to start addressing the subject matter, let us quickly solve an important investment mathematics concerning this subject matter. There is something that you can buy with just 400 naira. If you keep this thing somewhere for two years with little daily effort worth of 20 naira per day and 14,400 naira for two years. This thing is capable to produce minimum of another 300 pieces of its kind before the end of two years, which you can sell back to the community at the rate of 400 naira per pieces. That is, at the end of two years, if you go back to where you kept the one you bought, but we meet minimum of 300 pieces there that you can sell back to the community the same price you bought it or even higher. Now, let's assume that at the end of these two years, you decided to sell your 300 pieces that you met where you kept only one. You decided to sell it back to the community at the rate of 400 naira per pieces. How much will be your income at the end of two years? Yes, you are right. 400 multiplied by 300, which is simply 120,000 naira at the end of two years. But that is your income. What is your profit? Yes, you are right. You deduct your expenditure from the income to get your profit. And what are your expenditure? You deduct the 400 naira you spent to buy the one you kept. Kept. You deduct your daily effort worth of 20 naira and 14,400 naira for two years. And also, you will deduct miscellaneous. Let's assume your miscellaneous is 5,200 naira for the whole two years. And it now add the, all the expenditure together and remove it from 120,000, which is your income. How much is your profit? Yes, you are right. You are very balanced. That is, 
400 naira plus 14,400 naira plus 5,200 naira minus 120,000 naira. Definitely, you will be left with 100,000 naira as a profit at the end of two years. Business that you invest just 400 naira. Let's assume that you are capable to buy 150 pieces of this thing to keep. And you know, each of, the, each of them is capable to produce minimum of 300 pieces for you before the end of two years. Uh, now, at the end of two years, what is the minimum number of this thing that you're supposed to meet where you keep it? 150 multiplied by 300 pieces, which will be produced by each of them. That is, 150 pieces of this thing we are talking about. We produce 45,000 pieces for you before the end of two years which you can sell back to the community at the rate of 400 naira per piece. If we realize 100,000 naira profit on only one piece, now, when we invest on 150 pieces, what will be, what will be our profit? 100,000 naira multiplied by 150 pieces. This is profit of 15 million naira at the end of two years on how much that you invest invest definitely if you did not have house before you can decide to build any house if you did not have any car before you can decide to buy any car if you are plan to travel out you can decide to use your money to travel out of the country within two years but you know what you have not known this wonderful creation i'm talking about you have not know how and where to get this thing I'm talking about. You have not know where to keep it. You have not know the daily effort that it is required, which was 20 naira per day. And most importantly, you have not know how and where to sell this thing at the end of two years to realize your profits. But realize I will discuss everything in detail in the second clip of this video but you need to do something for me right now right. kindly like this video now and subscribe to the youtube channel for more important financial information that can change your life well i am joy and sadness peace and madness if only i can fight just a little longer i know it's gonna make me stronger so i just keep holding on to what I believe. Oh, I believe. Um, I know you are highly curious to know this wonderful thing I'm talking about. Don't worry, relax. I will show it to you. It's wow, it is snail. Yes, it is snail. Yes, yes. Snail has been consumed by human since historic time. It is high in crude protein, which is about 12 to 16 percent and high on, which is about 45 to 50 milligram per kg, but low in fat and contain almost every amino acid needed by human. And wonderfully, snail is contributing an important role in folk medicine. I want you to know that everything in snail is very important and useful can be used as sources of calcium to livestock feed while the meat itself it is highly nutritious and medicinal adding being that everybody know how important snail eating is to them nobody will avoid not to eat a snail per day all this made snail demand outstrip its supply in markets in early 2015 my brother started snail farming business in his uncompleted building in Iwoland with just 150 pieces of snail, which he bought at the rate of 400 naira then. End of 2016, towards December, this man decided to sell the, all the snail that he was able to produce then. He decided to sell the snail in bulk, so he sell it at the rate of 300 naira per piece. Believe me, this brother was able to complete this uncompleted building 
and build new scenery and also buy a new car for money he realized from the snail is so the beauty of snail farming business i am happy to tell you that snail is environment friendly please neither the snail nor is dropping smell offensively that is snail can be rare in residential area you can rear snail at your backyard snail belong to the group of infertebrate animal known as mollus and snail have variety of species such as akatina 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 fulica and akakatina marginata and so on and so forth but for the purpose of this video I would like to concentrate on Akatina Funica. But mind you, snails are a microdact animal. That is, they have both male and female sex organs. I purposely choose Akatina Funica species because of its wonderful feature. This snail is highly adaptable to a wide range of environments. Modify its life cycle to suit any local condition. Also, this snail reached sexual maturity in less than a year, even as early as five months under laboratory condition. This snail lay egg in clutch of 100 to 400, 8 to 20 days of copulation. Usually, it egg with ash within two to four weeks, depend on temperature, egg laying frequently depend on climate and duration of rainfall up to 1000 eggs per year can be laid by a snake this is the main reason why i said earlier on that this thing is capable to produce minimum of 300 pieces at the end of two years and for your notice the recommended temperature for snail is about 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. while the recommended Humidity is about 80 to 95 percent because snail need high relative humidity for optimal performance. All these conditions correspond to tropical rainforest climate zone. So, to be successful in snail farming business, you must select the most favorable site for your snail farm and you must provide good house for your snail and also you must be providing good food and ensuring good snail farm management practice but don't be panicked i will explain everything in detail in the third place of this video but you have to do something for me right now if you have not if you have not liked this video kindly like the video now and subscribe to the youtube channel for more important financial information that can change your life. So, let's meet at the top list of this video. I will be right back. Hope seems hard to find If only I could fight just a little longer I know it's gonna make me stronger So I'll just keep holding on to what I believe Oh, I believe in you Welcome! Let's start by talking about snail site selection. To locate your snail farm, there are some main factors that you need to consider. Firstly, the climate. Snails are cold-blooded animals. They strive best in environments with moderate temperature and high humidity. Secondly, the wind speed and wind direction. Wind accelerates moisture loss in snail. So, to prevent snail from drying out, slurry should be situated in a site that is well protected from wind. Invariably, those sites with cover tree to prevent wind impact. And lastly, the soil characteristic. Soil is a major part of snail habitat. So, soil condition, moisture content, and the texture of the soil are important factors to be considered in site selection. Snail cell is made up mainly of calcium calcium from the soil and the feed. Also, snail derive 
most of their daily water requirements from the soil. And most importantly, snakes dig in the soil to lay their egg and to rest during the dry season. For all these reasons, it is important that the soil should be loose and high in calcium and water content. But one of the easiest way to determine a good soil that's suitable for your snake production is that any soil that can support good growth of vegetable or cocoa yam will definitely support snail production. But note that the recommended moisture content of your snail soil is 80%. But should the case you need expert any part of this country to examine your farm for you, to examine your site for you before you locate the site. Could simply contact Guatavi to our airline 081 30 56 49 58. Now let's talk about slurry construction, that is, snail pen construction. Type and the size of your slurry depend obviously on the snail growing system that you choose and the quantity of snail you intend to produce. As far as snail growing system is concerned, your snail could be extensive, semi-intensive, or intensive system. In an increased order of complexity, management, and financial input. But for the purpose of this video, I want to concentrate on intensive system of the type and the size of your slurry. The snail house must be escape proof and west precious. Then it must be easy accessible and easy to work with. So as far as snail house is concerned, we have various types of snail house, snail, such as osbos, trench pen, mini paddock pen, and free range pen. But car tire and oil drum can also be used. But for the purpose of intensive system, only osbosch and trench pen is allowed for intensive system. Although for a very small scale intensive system, car tire and oil drum can also be used. I believe that you can see the picture of different scenery that we have in which you can choose any one that suits your purpose. purpose. But should in case you need an expert to construct your slurry for you, kindly contact us at Guatafi Nigeria Limited to 081 30 56 49 58. Now, the next thing to discuss is snail food and feeding. The distinction between extensive semi-intensive and intensive system apply not only to housing system but also to feeding but for the purpose of this video we will concentrate on intensive system intensive snail farming system all snails at whatever growing stage are provided with external feed which can be in form of concentrates or raw food and i'm happy to tell you that snails are vegetarian animal and we accept many types of food all snails will avoid plants with airy leaf or producing toxic chemical such as physic nuts and you must know that younger snails prefer tender leaf and shoots but should in case that is need for you to change their feed. The new feed should be introduced gradually. But you would like to ask, what are the recommended food for snail? It is very easy for you to know what snail eats. Almost every vegetable that can be consumed by human and the fruits that can be consumed by the human can also be consumed by snail both their leaf and their fruit and you can also give tuber crop to your slaves such as cassava cocoyam and sweet potato even yam 
but most advantageous, slay can also consume kitchen waste. But you must note that any kitchen waste that you want to give to your snail must not contain shots. The first way to feed your snail is by collecting rejected but recommended food item from marketplace. It is at the end of any market day some perishable fruit and vegetable that can still be consumed by slaves can be collected from marketplace. This will make feeding very cheap for your slave. So this will reduce the cost and labor to cultivate vegetable garden or fruit or fruit garden purposely to feed your snail. That the vegetable and the fruits will mainly provide minerals and vitamin to your snail. But the addition of tuber crop will provide carbohydrate needed by your snail. But for optimal growth, you should add supplement vitamin, supplement mineral, and supplement calcium, such as oyster shell, slay cell, and limestone. And don't forget, you must always make water available for your snail at all times. Then you must know the fact that growth is highly depend on apian temperature and humidity. The optimal stocking density depend obviously on size and age of your snail. So for juvenile and asin snail, under snail per meter square is recommended. But for adult snail, the stocking density should not exceed 10 to 20 snail per meter square because overcrowding will always result into poor growth and high mortality. To your notice, snail are nocturnal animals that is hiding during the daytime and coming out during the night to eat. So the right time to feed your snail is about two hours after sunset. And you must only make sure that you only pad the on its feed in the morning. Otherwise, it will attract insect and disease to your snail. Then, as a good snail farmer, you must keep and care for juvenile snail, growing snail, and breeding snail separately. Now, let us quickly talk about daily management practice in snail farming business. As I said earlier on, you need to provide feed for your snail about two hours after sunset and, and leftover must be removed the following morning. Secondly, the housing. Check whether the wire mess or the mosquito nest that, that is used to cover your snail are intact and not tear so that it will not give easy access for your snail to escape and it will not give easy access for insects to enter your snare. Then you must only make sure that the cover or the door of your snare is always well closed and only make sure that your snare house is always clean. The next thing for you to only check daily is your soil moisture. You can keep the soil moisture by mulching and wetting and you must know that you must not add poultry dropping to your snaily soil. So only check properly if there is any dead snail in the pen. It can be removed immediately. Then most importantly, you cannot use herbicide or insecticide in your snaily, otherwise you will kill the snail. And the last daily management practice is recording. Recording is highly important in every business. So every daily input and output of your snail farm must be daily recorded, including your own effort, including your family effort. And don't forget, we are using Osbosch, that is the cage boss, the cage pen. You must be changing the soil every three months. The next important thing to discuss is snail farm equipment. The customary gardening, such as hose, cutlass, rake, boom, 
basket, basket, etc. Weighing scale, hand towel, feed and water trough, feed itself, and to construct the snail pen. And also, importantly, a notebook for record keeping. God purposely created all this animal for us to serve as the means of wealth creation. The next thing for you to do is to act on the important financial information before you. I love you and I want you to be rich because it is when you are rich you will be able to make significant change in this nation. When doubt's trying to creep in and I need a reason.